Hello guys, how's it going and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. Hope you enjoyed episode one guys. Um, I got quite emotional in that episode as you probably know if you did watch it anyway. But um, yeah, I know there's a few of you who enjoy um, my let's play of the first episode, um, especially you Amanda considering you um, commented on my previous video and uh, yeah you said that you liked the uh, the first game the first Life is Strange game and plus you enjoyed me playing episode 1 for this one so without further ado let's get to it with episode 2 Brave New World and uh, yeah like before guys we are going to play this episode in its entirety so Let's get to it. But yeah, it is cool to play games like this in its entirety, you know what I mean? Considering you don't really get many YouTubers uh, Previously on Life is Strange, playing it story. fully, most like playing parts, you know? Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your <laughs> friends and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Oh, this is, yeah. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? Yep. That was my dad. <laughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh god, it's chills already, just... Oh. I'd love to see this as a series, you know. I really would. I would definitely watch it. Principal? It is amazing how far Price, the uh, Unity how engines you come along, isn't it? I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner, and then just sorry. <laughs> Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process, and the other is all too familiar with it. <laughs> Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss <coughs> Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Uh, I don't know. Uh, don't get in trouble again? Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Attempting to sabotage the academic goals of one of our top students, <gasps> Victoria Chase. I 
academic goals like doing her own homework? Because I thought Blackwell had a zero tolerance policy on plagiarism. Excellent suggestion. Stricter punishment for students who violate Blackwell's code of conduct is next on our agenda. <laughs> now hold on. Why is Chloe being punished for someone else's plagiarism? The infraction involved both students. Victoria will be reprimanded as well. <laughs> yeah, I bet. For her plagiarism, Miss Chase might have been suspended. Might have. If Mr. Prescott, Nathan Prescott, hadn't spoken to me on Victoria's behalf, and we have witnesses saying Miss Price was also involved in a bullying incident of the same Mr. Prescott. <sighs> The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. <laughs> Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. <laughs> Principal Wells, I know this looks bad. Thank you for your validation, Miss Price. May I continue? With your permission? <clears throat> Sorry. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? Hmm. No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Fine, yes. It was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray. Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Hmm. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? <clears throat> You have no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? D oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Will you be dragging every other scholarship student into your office today as well? Damn. Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price, I appreciate your position, but I assure you, 
It is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of the Tempest. Oh. Ouch. What the performance is tonight? For someone so aware of our school calendar, Miss Price, I would expect fewer absences on your record. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. How fitting. <laughs> yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That. What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Mm -hmm. Well. <sighs> no. Nothing to add. I'm glad. Though Chloe may not have been the mastermind of yesterday's events, it was, as I prefaced, the proverbial last straw. In light of your many past transgressions, I have no choice but to suspend you for the rest of the year. But it was the other girl's idea. She confessed. And she will be punished accordingly. But that does not absolve Chloe of her responsibility. You know what? I used to think Chloe was exaggerating about you, but now I see that she didn't go nearly far enough. <coughs> Mrs. Price, <coughs> let me remind you that Chloe's Ooh, case statement begins now. Her actions and those of your own will be weighed carefully when the time comes. Do you understand me? Both of you. I understand that you're a fucking Chloe. We understand, Mr. Wells. I will have Skip Matthews <coughs> clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. <laughs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. <laughs> you know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. <laughs> I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. 
Yeah, as well. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Yeah, might as well sign it. Retrieve. <laughs> of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> uh, go on, Chloe. You badass. Yeah, that's a snazzy car right there. Later, Skip. Hmm. Later.
Looks like David's here. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> Max would have loved this shit. Yep. She would have. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. Mm. I, uh, was suspended. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. <laughs> Do you want a hug? Yeah, I'm going there. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it sucks for Rachel, too. She was kicked out of the play because of me. She'll live. Harsh, man. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Yeah, I'm dishing the show. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe I won't go to the Tempest. <laughs> the more I think about being at Blackwell tonight, the more I want to throw up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I should have thought of that. Do you just want to hang out instead? Nah, I think I'll just chill at home. You don't mind, right? It's totally cool. No problem. N next time, okay? I better go. My mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. This is a lesbianum. <laughs> Fire safety fly. I guess this fire is no joke. Oh. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Oops. Well, Wells's car, crushing spirits, must pay pretty well. Mm. Yep. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. <laughs> it's about damn time. David, please. I'll handle it. Chloe, after today... Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? This isn't a fight, Chloe. It's a conversation. Remember that. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? 
Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. David, that's out of line. You weren't with us in there. Chloe was treated unfairly. Now you're making excuses for her? <laughs> Chloe needs to take responsibility. I decide what Chloe needs, not you. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Uh, go on then. Sure. Reset button pressed. <laughs> I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. David, do you really think now is the right time? <laughs> Joyce, please. We must be a united front. Mom. Bro. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, you saw how I was treated in there. Now you want to treat me the same way? I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. <sighs> okay. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Shock's even worse than invading someone's privacy. Uh, Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, David. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Yeah, okay. I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. <clears throat> I just worry about you. That's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Da, da, da. No fucking way. <laughs> Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. They're <laughs> trying, I get it. And I know I thought so. Mom, I, I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like.
Okay, okay, okay. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. <laughs> dimmy, 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 dimmy. Where are we off to now? The junkyard? Our hideout. Way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down. Yeah. Don't be crying again. Black Hole's done with me. That got me good last time. The dad's car and everything. <clears throat> Is this junkyard all I've got left? We're banging stuff again. Rachel, where are you? Ah, so this is uh, Chloe's truck, is it? Uh, yep, you need a new one of them. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Get battery put in the truck. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. Yeah. Open. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Ow. Lunch. There we go.
Here we go. The pick of the litter. <laughs> Time to fix our truck. And that's how you fix a car. More love than I can give right now. <laughs> In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Still, uh Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, <laughs> I should probably cover over this massive hole. Just a bit. A bit. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Mm hmm. So light bulb, seat, and floor. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Oh, uh, that's car. Yeah. Video. Ah, right. So that will do so for the seats. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. <laughs> Christmas lights. That'll do. <laughs> Here's hoping for a holiday miracle to light up my ride. <laughs> I need something to replace the floor now. But what? What can we use? Something Beach Town. Hmm. 
I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. <laughs> Fuck everything. I need the syringe now. We don't want a syringe. Don't do drugs. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Welcome, Matt. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> you should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. Yeah, sweet. Now we can go back to the truck. How you doing, guys? You still with me? You enjoying it? You enjoying it, Rachel? Are you enjoying it, Amanda? <laughs> Sweet. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. It probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Still, how sweet would that be? You will. You will. My phone's vibrating. Yeah. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Frank? Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. <laughs> We've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about? Oh, like drugs? Right. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you. <coughs> okay. And Frank, is everything cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like in general, or to you? We'll see you soon. <sighs> Time for a ciggy, whilst we wait. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. You only get one chance to make a first expression. <clears throat> mystical or frightening? Let's go mystical, considering I like all creepy stuff and paranormal and blah 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 blah. What have you put? The Illuminati! Sees all. Same as my shirt. Does your truck look like a Christmas party on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. Sweet. Do we have here? I don't know, what is it? <coughs> yep. This'll do. Is that our beanie? Is that our beanie? 
I will hops. Honk. Go on, you have to test it. Go on, girl, test it, girl. <laughs> right, now we wait. Um, again guys I do apologise if you can't hear it but with it probably due to copyrights it might be muted so I can't help it. If it was up to me I'd gladly have the music on. But you know what YouTube's like. Especially with this adpocalypse that's still going on. Shit. Whoa! I slept all day. Our graffiti is flying. What the hell? <clears throat> oh shit! Oh. Isn't good. Oh no, it's our dad. Dad. That's one thing I've never had that. Toasted marshmallows. Obviously, I've had marshmallows, but never toasted. Come on, might as well join him. If I ever had a chance like that, even if it was a dream, I would definitely take it. Roast our marshmallow. Gonna be amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. It's gonna be a nightmare. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See, you're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us just like darkness but darkness blinds with absence with loss what does fire blind with beauty oh what's 
sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Oh, shit. Careful of what? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Get it. Oh. Knew he was going to be disfigured. Fucking knew it. <laughs> A two face. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? Yeah. You could start a fire. Yeah. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Not sure. Of course I am. I love giving rides to strange drifters. <laughs> Hop in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Just some junk I found <coughs> lying around. A uh, pirate flag? A uh, bright green light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. <laughs> Always thinking ahead. <laughs> Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Help. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also gonna need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Mm. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. Yep. <laughs> I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? <clears throat> because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah. yeah. Totally. <laughs> At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Did it. Pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. <laughs> but now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what we both could use? Mm -hmm. Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Doc. Mm. 
David. There's this <clears throat> dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance <clears throat> begins now. Alright. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? <laughs> Step douche. He's, uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. <laughs> Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. <laughs> and pretty soon, he'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? <laughs> Sorry. Uh. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. <laughs> uh, fire one. So my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something that shit fucking nuts though last night. <clears throat> what do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must oh, be he's so sweet, he's so sweet, needed someone in her life to teach her how to steal wine from yuppie picnickers. <laughs> how not to give a fuck, because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well adjusted. <laughs> I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> <laughs> Touche, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. <clears throat> nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, okay. Of course. Uh, the truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I really try to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You're not like him. You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. Mm. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. It's 
playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Mm. Oh well. <sighs> hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal. <laughs> Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. <laughs> Drive safe, Chloe. Hmm. Why the kiss? <laughs> okay, 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 let's see what we got. Nothing like an abandoned <clears throat> shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm at the junkyard now. Yeah. 
and you get to play young Max. I think it's called Farewell, the uh, bonus episode. <clears throat> The woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Oh. Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? <laughs> Price, get your ass in here. Ooh. Wonder how that's gonna pan out. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. <laughs> I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> Get my notebook price. Then we'll talk. <laughs> Word. <laughs> I'm also if I got busted your safest <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Go to a book group. <laughs> I'm fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? In the back. <clears throat> that big bag of drugs. Hey there. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. Pompadou, get up here. Pompadou. <laughs> Oh, a little cutie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Notebook. Notebook. Bloody hell, it's a lot of drugs. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. <laughs> it was a pillow. I thought it was fucking drugs. <laughs> anyway. Notebook, notebook, notebook. There we go. Is this what I think it is? Oh shh! I'm in the red. I owe Frank some money. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Ah. Fuck it. Let's have a look. A swingy. Flippy instrument of death. Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars on this dog. Wow. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Bomb sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order.
Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you do. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. French walk. Does it mean like tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <laughs> Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. No shit, Frank. You think I don't know about hiding things from other people? I'm a teenager. Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. <clears throat> Your customers like you because you're laid back. That's why I like you. So you should keep building up that easygoing vibe, you know? Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Frank, so sensitive. You guys got a thing going? <laughs> Mixing business with pleasure? What? No, I forget it, Price. Over my dead body. You know when I joke about being your favorite customer? I'm kind of not joking. Deep down in your gut, I think you know you can totally trust me. I don't know. <laughs> Frank. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh, How about that firehouse chili of hers? You got it. <laughs> the woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? Mm. It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble is that? Like? Get about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. <coughs> Thanks for telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Oh shit. Money from what? Well, he's always had a few things going on. I help him out with some of them. Don't drown me in the details, but... <laughs> Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. But I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, you have it? <laughs> Go ask for some richer. Don't you have richer clients to bother? <laughs> I should fucking hope so. <laughs> well, good. Because I need everything I've got. You're a pain in the ass. I've got bigger problems right now. Open my notebook. Last page. <clears throat> should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. It's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. Shit. That's smart. <laughs> yes. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, no. No. I never talked to him. Or his type. 
No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Wasn't well, it for me? Yeah, of course. But what's in it for me? <laughs> Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. <laughs> I got suspended this morning. <laughs> Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Does sound like a good deal. It does, it does, it does, it does. You might not agree, but I do. Excuse me. Well, here goes nothing. Stealth mode activates. Love you. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Let's go. Locked. <clears throat> Figures. Fuck. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Oh. Blackwell Academy. Conserving water since never. Spinkler, we need to find. Well, do we? I don't know. Oh. I thought we'd send the sprinklers on by that. Bingo. <laughs> if only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? <laughs> hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. Uh, what? <laughs> You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? <clears throat> what do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. 
That's uh deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly or do you like write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? It sounds a bit creepy. I've got to go, man. Uh, it's been real. Be kind to yourself, Chloe Price. Be kind to yourself, Chloe Price. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it with Samuel standing right there. You need to get rid of Samuel. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. Come on. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? <laughs> Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks really ridiculous. Hey, uh... Evan, as intelligent as you look right now, <coughs> you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration <coughs> interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? <coughs> <laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. About different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. Anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. <sighs> Evan? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. you to go the other way like as far as possible the other way <laughs> time for a fresh start that way here we go So tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. And he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. To the post. Whoops, to the post. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. <laughs> Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works.
Oh no. <clears throat> Time to get the keys. And quickly. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Nope. Someone's coming. Chloe? <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old times sake. <laughs> I want to, Chloe, but I really can't. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. <laughs> I don't think I can. In fact... I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. Oh man, come on. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. <laughs> okay. What's my official business? I'm going to the bathroom. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is that interesting to you? What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. Your job is creepy, then. Which makes you kind of a creeper. <laughs> oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? You know Wells doesn't really respect you, right? You're just a, a rent-a-cop who needs a haircut. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? I, I thought we were friends too, but when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really... Sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. Y you did! <laughs> you stared right at me. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive? Enough. I don't want to know about En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthew. <sighs> I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. Your boy, I'll slap you right in your noggin. <clears throat> oh, 
<laughs> Time to get some money. Oh, excuse me. All right. Which one is Drew's room? Yeah. We've got to get caught, we are. Drew. Yep. Uh, definitely Drew's room. Here we go. Good. Drew's not here. Okay. If I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? One, two, one, two. Okay, let's try it. Damn it. Wrong numbers. Okay. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Five sixteen. Oh. Damn it. Damn it. Wrong numbers. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. I don't like the look of this dude. Bad guys don't usually look <laughs> awesome. <laughs> they look so happy. A lot of numbers on here. Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Plenty of possible combinations here. Three, two. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Might actually need some help with this one. <sighs> Twelve twenty seven. One two two seven. Uh, worth a shot. Yes. Ah. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. He's gonna come, he's gonna come. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Okay, what's going on? You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. Oh, I heard about shit. your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Uh, Where is it? <coughs> oh, please! Just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do this! Kid, no oh. one steals from me! Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. High five football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or... Maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Shit. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay. Little brother. Mm. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Sorry. Right. Well... I didn't do anything. You kept my brother safe. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this. 
okay? Yeah. No. No way. Oh man, I feel bad for that now, but... Um, what are you going to do? About Damon? I don't know. One day at a time. I hear you. Mmm, I do feel bad. Good luck, seniors. This day has been so messed up. Ah, oh, that made me fucking feel guilty now. Before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. If I can find her. Whoops. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. Just like she tried to sabotage me yesterday. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. <laughs> Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? I'll go on then. Yeah, I guess. I mean, 
even if you are super lame to me all the time, I hope you don't completely suck up there. <laughs> and even if you do suck, who cares? I mean, let's be real, you're not Rachel. But that's okay, because you're Victoria Chase, you know? Even if you suck. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Exactly what I needed to hear. Uh, okay. <laughs> cool. Tea? For your instrument. We want you at your best tonight. for me to slip those pills into her teeth. <laughs> oh, okay. I better start getting into costume before the... Sweet fun. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. <laughs> My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing <clears throat> us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. <laughs> Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Oh. Touche. <laughs> Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. Chloe can be it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Keaton, no. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. <laughs> At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. Don't be throwing that cat. <sighs> yeah, go on then. Because I love you. Damn it. <laughs> I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Oh hell, great master, mistress. Okay, I shall try. I shall try. God. I bet we have to remember those lines, don't we? So we can press the right button. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. 
Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <laughs> oh, uh, that's you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. <laughs> no problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, <laughs> who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. cried hell is full so uh, therefore uh, <laughs> uh, now's the time to die <laughs> if only but are they Ariel safe all right I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this How now, capricious friend? Thou art not done. If thou art tired, thou must needs repose. Yeah, I'm tired. Tired of this play bullshit. I need a breather. I want to play her part. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle in gr groups. What's Juliet ETA? <laughs> Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. <coughs> How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Improv. But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with the excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. <laughs> Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way off script. It's magical. <laughs> then why, I pray you? wish you to be free. Excitement ages quickly. 
And I fear if we set out in search of new uh, fun, you'll tire of me. And uh, then I'll be alone. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending... absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. Oh, this is love right there. No problem. Oh. What the hell just happened? <clears throat> Was that real? Was it real? Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh. Mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself. Filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. <laughs> Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! <laughs> Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Yeah. Now my charms are all overthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands.
<laughs> Come on, Chloe. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. <laughs> oh, oh. Ooh. Who is that? Who is it? Who is that? Never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were no, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I feel really awesome if you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight <laughs> you've gone through so much shit today <laughs> right now is pretty good okay the whole show was good I admit it yeah <laughs> it was magical <laughs> Hold her hand, go on. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted yeah. to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like, eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? Okay. Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like the greatest idea anyone's ever thought of. You and me, driving down the coast, filling up our truck with hilarious souvenirs, and every night, we'll find a different beach to walk along and watch the sun go down. Mm. And one day, that sounds good. we'll be at a gas station fixing the brakes, and some guy with no shirt on will come up. <laughs> yeah, okay. He'll be like, that's so hot that you know about cars. And I'll say, back off. 
She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Ooh. Go on then. How about, um, oh, Ooh. Yay! Is that convincing enough? Yeah. No. Oh. oh yay! <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so sweet. Holy shit. <laughs> So happy, so happy for them both. <sighs> but I know. I know what's going to happen though. Damn me for playing the game first. <laughs> the first game. Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. <laughs> Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It was, but that was before I was suspended. <laughs> Now, it's that girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any sore subjects. <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. 
thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I... must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. <laughs> Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. Mm -hmm. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, <laughs> Of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In the meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Lou? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Hurry back. Just hurry back. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Try doing it your whole life. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. <laughs> exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. Hmm. What could possibly go wrong? Yep. Solved it. <laughs> hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. <laughs> You're a riot, Chloe. Alright, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Piece of cake. <laughs> no skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. He will say, Oh, stop. It's off to the table with you. Okay. Set the place on the table. Go. I miss you. Glasses. Damn. The Ambers are fancy as shit. <laughs> okay, now what? Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? 
Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. <laughs> Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Is it just me or has he got a bit of a lazy eye? What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. <laughs> you tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Ah. Uh. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Get the glass. Uh, it's the triangle shaped one. Basic <laughs> shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the it's cool. I've got my own. Oh. <laughs> you never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. <laughs> Thanks. I, I, I think. think. Time to light some candles and Bless this joint up a bit. <laughs> the Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> well. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? I wish. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. <laughs> what about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. 
It's scary. Yeah. It's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. <laughs> it's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Mm. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. <laughs> but to each their own, I suppose. <laughs> oh, fucking blow me. Rachel! Uh, that's just a little inside joke we have together. Uh, no, <laughs> you blow me, Rachel. Chloe. Stop. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's <laughs> enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of her. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to treat me for like this. Oh, shit. She's gonna snap. She's gonna snap. That woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. What? What? what?
guessing that's a bit of a glitch there. <laughs> Hey dear, I wonder what she has to do with this. Next time. <laughs> A brave new world. Right along the actual story. Ooh, you went to your pockets. You still my key. You asked for a kiss. <laughs> okay. Let's That was short and sweet. Shit, shit. I'm trying to get my car started. <laughs> what more? Life is strange. PlayStation Store. Uh, I've already got it, so it don't matter. Looks like the fire's been put out in episode 3. But guys, there you have it. Episode 2 in its entirety. But yeah, that was a bit of a bombshell at the end. The mysterious woman is Rachel's mum. So... <laughs> man. I can't wait for episode 3 now guys, I really can't. And sadly it will be the last one for this story anyway, apart from the bonus episode where you get to play as uh, Max. So yeah, a bit of a bit of twists and turns in the next episode, fingers crossed. So yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed episode 2 of Life is Strange Before the Storm. And uh, yeah, be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments. Were you surprised by that little twist at the end? Let me know. So for now, again, hope you enjoyed, guys. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Just help me out a lot. This batch it has, and I'll see you soon with the next episode. <laughs>